Perhaps it's not as breathtaking as it used to be, given now that there's pocket photo printers with the Bluetooth and the Wi-Fi's and the whatnot that hook up to your phone. But in the mid-90s, this show was breathtaking. The Game Boy printer from Nintendo. You literally hook this up to your Game Boy with the link cable, and you can print pictures from video games for the Game Boy that are compatible with the Game Boy printer, and depending on the game, you could actually print out different things. Really cool. Um, i show you here. It takes six AA batteries. <laughs> it was quite the battery eater. I got this back in, like, 2000 when I saw it on clearance in Best Buy. I got it along with a Game Boy camera. I think I bought this for 20 bucks, and they had the Game Boy camera on clearance for 10 bucks. That, that was awesome. So here's the printer, it uh, the paper it takes. It's a roll of thermal paper. Thermal paper means no ink, so you never have to replace an ink cartridge on this, which is awesome. I still have some leftover paper, too. That's not the only roll I have left, so I couldn't imagine running out of paper with this anytime soon. There were a good handful of games that were compatible with the Game Boy printer when it was out. Today I'll be showing three examples. Game Boy Camera, obviously, Pokemon Silver, and Super Mario Bros. Deluxe. All were compatible with the Game Boy printer in some way, shape, or form. And we'll use a retro-style Game Boy Advance SP, just because we can. And link cable. So, let's get the link cable hooked up here, which end is... Okay. So, here we are. And what should we show first? Oh, we'll do Pokemon Silver first. Let's get it turned on. Let's get the printer turned on. It feeds a little paper when you turn it on. There we go. Uh, Alright, let's get that plugged in there. Yoink. Yoink. Do, 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 do. I have to replace the battery in here myself because um, the battery that keeps saved games died on me. And uh, good thing I know my way around a soldering iron. Alright, so watch this here. We'll go to Pokedex. Uh, pick any old Pokemon. Uh, Typhlosion, because he's awesome looking. And for this particular game, go down to here where it says print, or print, however you want to pronounce that. And we'll hit print. Checking link. Transmitting. It says it's transmitting. That hold music is kind of creepy. There it goes. There's Typhlosion, his Pokedex entry. Oh, it's transmitting more data. That is creepy music. The, uh, the paper's usually not that grainy looking. But, um, that's because I haven't replaced the paper in here in a while. Let's see if we can actually read it. Alright. Focus. Typhlosion Volcano. There's this height and weight. It has a secret devastating move. It rubs its blazing fur together to cause huge explosions. Well, at least we could read it, so that's cool. And it's got this picture up there. Another cool thing... Turn the music down. Another cool thing about Game Boy printer paper gotta find it. Here we go. You can peel off the back and you can actually use the paper or, or your printout as a sticker and get the rest of it off. If it's still sticky. Huh, it's still sticky. What do you know? There we go. I just made a homemade Typhlosion tattoo complete with Pokedex entry. <laughs> Alright, so let's try out another game. How about uh, Super Mario Bros. Deluxe? Please, you knew I was going to save the camera for last. I've played this game to death, I'll tell you that. And it's dirty. Figured. I didn't think we'd get that lucky. I know, you're not supposed to blow in the cartridge, but for the video, we're going to do that. It works. <laughs> Blown in the cartridge is always a good temporary fix, very terrible permanent fix. So for this particular game, uh, I go here. Every Toad has different printouts available. Um, they're mostly just game sprites. That Toad's got that. 
That toads. Ah, and 64, that's so cool. Only four. I miss seeing that little symbol at the top of the box. And you can make little quotes. She's got... Oh, it plays a melody. I think if you hit select, it plays the melody or something. Oh, you hit start. Yeah, that's the melody that that is up there. More pictures. You can always change the message that's on there. You can print out a whole banner. Apparently you can make a die out of Game Boy printer paper. That's pretty cool. I never actually tried that. You can type text in a banner and print out the whole banner. You can print out game sprites, more game sprites. Uh, let's do Lakitu. Print. Nicer hold music. And it's printing. There we go, there's a sprite of Lakitu. Ain't that cool. There were also other shades of paper too. This is the red shade of it. There was a variety that was more of a yellow shade, and there's a variety that was more of a blue shade. I have those, but I just don't feel like opening up a fresh roll. Uh, ooh, pre-made banners. Uh, get in or get out. Dare we print that banner? <laughs> Alright, let's go for it. We're gonna print that whole banner. Why not? The printer has fresh batteries in it. Print. This is gonna take a while. Sends a little bit of data at a time, prints, and then pauses to send more data. I'll put the Game Boy close to the mic so you can enjoy the whole music. There we go. That's not as long as I thought it was going to be. Let's go ahead and feed it a little bit more. Look at that, that's cool. Get in or get out. Put that on your on alarm or something. Um, so now I've got a picture of that and Lakitu. Alright, so there are a lot of uh, Game Boy printer options that Super Mario Bros. Deluxe had to keep it a lot of fun. And like you saw, you could do banners with however many texts you want. You could put a whole letter in it, and I'm pretty sure it would print it. Probably take about a day, though. Alright, so last on the show-off list is the Game Boy Camera. I cannot believe the, the battery in this still holds a charge, and is still holding my pictures. I better be careful saying that. Watch, I'll turn it on. It's gonna be like battery's dead. You lose. Did you know you can make Mario dance different speeds on the title screen? If you hold up, he dances faster. If you hold down, he dances slower. Get down, Mario. All right. <laughs> Uh, what do we got on here? View album. Man, how old are the pictures on there? Oh my god, the two... All except one of the pets on this camera's album are dead. That cat's dead, that cat's dead, that bird is dead. I still have that dog. Um, still have the dog. Um, my old neighbor. <laughs> Man, these pictures are old. Man, I never want to lose these pictures. The Game Boy camera had a maximum of 30 pictures, so it looks like it's one picture away from being full. Man, I wish... I think I've seen on Google once before, there is a way to hook a Game Boy camera up to your computer with some fancy equipment and back up all the pictures, because I, I don't want to lose these pictures. Uh, let's see here. You could just print the picture. Oh, before you print it, you could pick a frame. You could pick a frame for the picture to have. I always liked this one. Oh, but there's another little Easter egg. Check this out. We're going to go to print again. And uh, before we print, we're going to hit select and frames. Go to wild. And these are the wild frames, which are just huge. Super Mario World. Uh, Yoshi. Zelda. What Zelda game is that? Link's Awakening. Uh, Wario from Super Mario Land 3. 
Mario Kart 64. Let's do one with Yoshi. And print. Now it's going to print the top of the frame. Now it's transferring the picture. I like the waiting picture. The scientist watching the bear like, hmm, yes, I see. Now it's printing the rest of the frame. Boy, I need to change the exposure settings on there. Need to make them a little bit brighter. But there's a picture of my cat with Yoshi surrounding him. <laughs> there were a lot of different things that this printer was capable of, and it just depended on what game you had. Um, it was really cool, and I always remember when I was younger, I was thinking to myself, boy, you know, what's next? They've got a printer, watch, they'll do a Game Boy scanner next, and you'll scan a picture, and it'll do something on the game, I don't know. But this was really cool, and I've used up a lot of paper on this on it, uh, in its day. And uh, I remember having my bedroom door just filled with stickers from the Game Boy printer from all kinds of different games. I think I had this banner on there, too. You know, when you look at it from a distance, they look pretty good quality, actually. I'm definitely going to put this banner on something, I know that. But that is the Game Boy printer, and a little bit of the Game Boy camera as well. Definitely had its place in history, and if you have an old Game Boy, um, might want to check out getting one of these, especially if you have a game that's compatible with the printer. If you go on Wikipedia or something, you can find a list of games that were compatible with this. And um, just for the heck of it, I'll show you the guts. If you take off the paper cover, you can take off the paper cutter, and there's the guts. See, it's a thermal printer, so you never have to replace it with ink cartridges, which is awesome. It's the same ink cart uh, It's the same technology that they use on um, calculators that have paper printers on them. So that is the Game Boy printer, and you know, first this, and then the DS. You know, and now there's going to be a 3DS with 3D graphics. So, you know, what's next for Nintendo? Anyway, thanks for watching. How's this for a paradox? It's an Easter egg in an Easter egg. Ooh. But check this out. Did you know that on a Game Boy printer, if you hold down the feed button while you turn it on, it starts printing a secret message. It's a little Mario face saying the word hello. There's a little Game Boy printer next to it, too. Pretty cool.